Hi, so um, we're here at IBC and I'm going to explain this unit over here. This is actually what we call our uh, SFH30 head. Uh, it's a head that's used for many different things, uh, including low, um, kind of small cameras such as DSLRs or large cameras, uh, reds, uh, even Alexas. It can take a, um, about a 14, 15 kilo payload, which is about 30 pounds. And so the cabling is very simple and it can even run from battery. It has many different options. Here, this is uh, used to actually change the, the roll on the camera. Uh, so you, uh, similar heads to this were used at the Olympics to change from landscape to portrait. Uh, you can also have additional motors for controlling the zoom or the focus and triggering the camera. So you could use this for live action, time lapse, uh, or animation. Uh, it's running here from this simple controller. Um, and everything is uh, stored in here, so at the moment it's just repeating a move again and again. I'm just going to stop it, and I can, for example, pan, I can tilt, go up and down, I can also roll the camera, and I can record moves. So, for example, on the menu, I can go back. I have a simple menu system, I'm going to go to record and play, and then I go to record, and I've already selected my axis, so I'm going to say record, and this is now going to record move three. It has pretty much an unlimited number of moves I can record, um, and then I can just go start, and it's now recording, and whatever I do, the head will... And when I finish, I just press it, and it's now actually ready to record move number four, which is the next move. I'm going to go back and say that I want to play back the last move. So I'm going to play back the same speed. You can actually play them back at any speed. Uh, you can speed them up or you can slow them down. You can even do uh, slow them right down. You can say, I want to run this move over a week if you're doing time lapse, uh, frame by frame. Uh, so I go playback, same speed. It'll go to the beginning of the move. Okay. And ready to shoot. So when I press shoot, it'll run the move. We also, for example, have um, track options. I don't know if you can see that, but they're all on the website, uh, www.mrmoco.com. And uh, there are a lot of different options. This head at the moment is running uh, by RS232. We also have IP interfaces. So, for example, you can run it uh, over the internet uh, remotely. Uh, you can control it uh, from a laptop. Yes. from a, uh, uh, an app, uh, there are many different controllers, this is the introduction okay. to this. So we're here at IBC and one of the other things that we're showing here is the new Polycam system, which is ideal for tracking um, uh, multiple views uh, in sports. For example, you can have one cameraman and he can get multiple views of the same point of interest um, from multiple cameras but using only a single operator, a single console. Um, so here we have a, a simple setup. We have three cameras up there. Okay. Uh, these are uh, cameras being carried on our SFH 30 head, which can take about 15 kilos um, and is a, a very sturdy little head. They're all connected by IP, so everything is networked. Uh, in fact, one of them down here is actually connected using um, a copper head. So this is, we have uh, fiber carrying power and ethernet and video uh, used to power the camera. Everything is going down the fiber, uh, fiber cable. 
and um, it's being used to control this camera. This camera is connected to the polycam system, although I'm not actually going to use it to track anything, but the other three cameras are going to track my point of interest. So up on the screen you see Polycam 1, uh, Polycam 2, and Polycam 3. Okay, and those are going to be my three uh, different views. And I'm going to use Polycam 1 as my master camera. So whatever I point Polycam 1 at, uh, the others will follow. So I'll start off by showing you um, control using the hand bar. So, for example, at the moment I have Polycam 1 is acting independently and you can see there on the screen I can move it around, point it at different objects. It's very simple to do that using the pan bars. You get very easy control. It's just like using a, a normal fluid head. Um, and at the moment it's set to actually, it's set to be quite soggy, so to speak, so I can set it to be more or less responsive depending on how shaky my hands are, so to speak. Um, and I can actually control different cameras from here. For example, I can set it to control camera one or camera two. Um, so I want to move camera two slightly. I'm just going to do that using the joystick. Or camera three slightly. I'm going to do that over here. So to turn polycam on, all I, all I do is I point it at an object. So let's say at that desk. Actually, I'm going to choose something that all the cameras can see. So over here. Uh, at this bar, uh, and then I'm going to turn it on, and it's, it's saying ready to go to because all the other cameras are not pointing at it, so I tell it that it's okay to go to, and all the cameras are now pointing to it. Just in case you missed that, I'll just show it again, so I'm going to turn it off. So I'm going to move my body cam to another object over here to this desk. And on the main screen, you can see Polycam 1 is pointing at the desk. And then I'm going to turn it on and tell all the other cameras to go to that point. And they all go to look at that desk. Okay. And now as I move it around, you'll see all the other cameras will follow my point of interest. So now I'm looking at the bar. Uh, if I go further out, I look over there, unfortunately there's a big bar from the booth that's in front of Polycam 3, but I can look pretty much anywhere. Okay. So, you can have pretty much an unlimited number of cameras, and they can be placed around the stadium, um, and using a single operator, he can point it at whatever he wants, and polycam system will automatically calculate what the other cameras, where the other cameras need to point and point to exactly the same position so you can get multiple views of the same point of interest. And um, that is the polycam system. Okay, so just to give you a brief overview of the software, this is, um, everything is being uh, calculated by this little laptop. Uh, it doesn't require much computing power. And um, here we have three heads. There's some green lights down here showing that I've got three heads connected via IP, so they're all networked together. And the three heads, they've been worked out by the laptop where they are positioned. You could, on this screen, also load in plans or 3D graphics of your stadium or your arena. Uh, so, for example, this can read in Maya files or FBX files, and you can have a, your whole stadium shown here as well. And as I move this around using the pan bars, you'll see my point of interest is moving around to show where it is in space. Okay. Now I've told it that it's looking at a point 
that's about a meter off the ground. So it's keeping the point of interest always about a meter off the ground. And whatever I do, the cameras will just follow. The calibration procedure is very simple and it's just done by pointing the cameras at, at two points in the, um, in the arena or in the, in the, on the sports field um, and those are shown by this line over here. So, regarding the heads that we use for Polycam, um, there are actually a number of different heads that can be used. This is a, a typical head, this is a, a, an SFH30 head. Here it's shown with a, a compact broadcast type uh, camera with a 40 times zoom. We also have it configured up there with a kind of ENG type uh, zoom, uh, again with a compact broadcast camera. It doesn't have to be a, a compact camera, uh, it can take larger cameras as well. We also have control uh, of the lens, so we can remotely control the focus zoom and iris using the uh, built-in lens control motors. Uh, it can be Canon or Fujinon, uh, makes no difference. And they're all controlled via IP. The head is controlled via IP, the lens is controlled via IP, and with a new range of uh, broadcast type cameras with IP interfaces and even IP video, uh, the whole system becomes fully integrated into a complete IP based system, which could be controlled from anywhere. You could be sitting in a, in a different location, uh, hundreds or even thousands of miles away, controlling the system, controlling any of the heads. Um, this, this configuration here can take about 15 kilos quite comfortably. Um, if you want to use, for example, a large box lens, there are larger heads available. Uh, heads like, for instance, the Alti head over there, um, that can uh, carry up to 45 kilos. Um, and again, all IP based, so easily connects to the system and a full control of the uh, focus, uh, zoom, iris, camera functionality. Um, any of these cameras can be connected and they can be located in different places around the stadium using an existing network. The infrastructure there can be permanently installed so that you could basically control them remotely and have fewer engineers on site to uh, attend whenever there's an event happening. The Polycam system means that with one operator you can control all these cameras and get multiple views either to add to your content so that you can have for example further second screen ability um, for your viewers, they can choose different viewpoints of the same action um, or uh, to just reduce the amount of human resources that you're using for a particular event. Um, yes, and uh, if you have any questions please feel free to ask.